So apparently now Twitter thinks I'm going to kill myself because I told someone to keep their zen. And now I'm banned for an entire week on Twitter. I don't know how banning me from social media is going to prevent me from killing myself if I even was suicidal. But apparently they know best. So for the time being I'll be unable to leech off of Twitter for my YouTube channel. Which means I will have to go and see what other YouTubers are talking about in order to get views on this platform. So these are the videos that are popping off on YouTube right now. Why I don't like Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean is beyond cringe. I despise Jelly Bean and of course, Jelly Bean has gone too far. Hashtag destroy Jelly Bean. Alright, who the hell is Jelly Bean and what did they do? It can't be that they're just cringe. Nobody is cringe enough to warrant that many videos. <laughs> Chat, I'm so sorry I cursed chat, I'm so sorry! <laughs> 2.8 million views on that video. Now, obviously, what I just showed you isn't really reflective of all of her content. That was probably the worst one I've seen so far. Let's take a look at a more standard Jelly Bean video and see if her content really is as cringe as people are saying. Okay, Jelly Bean, let's turn and see the jelly beans we made. Okay. Wait, you actually made a jelly bean? That's what you said to do. Okay, it's still pretty bad, but I feel like shitting on this content is like shitting on Blue's Clues. The content is clearly made for young kids and preteens. If anything, I've actually got to commend them for the good job. Gaining such a big following in a genre as saturated as Minecraft is really impressive, especially considering how young the creators are. Jelly Bean is a minor, and Bee's Churger is 29 years old, is married, and has five kids. Dude, that did not sound like a 29-year-old. Holy shit. Wait, why does he sound like that? Why is he making YouTube videos with someone who is closer in age to one of his children than him? And why did he give up his career as a musician and writer to create a YouTube channel called Beastcherger73? Dude, this guy has to either be a genius or an idiot for hinging the financial stability of a family of seven on a media company called The Beastcherger Network. I've got to see more of this guy's content. <laughs> What? Beast Trigger, what are you doing here? What the? Twy Shorts, what are you doing here? Twy Shorts, what are you doing here? Okay, I get this content is made for children, but is the whining voice really necessary for all of his videos? What did I do wrong? Oh my gosh, Derp Steve, what are you doing here? Apparently it is. You know what? I think I unironically enjoy listening to Jay Station's child entertainer voice over his. What's Papa guys? Back with another beggar video. So Beast Trigger, so far, not my favorite content creator, in fact, far from it, but he's feeding the family of seven. He's pumping out content harder than he pumped his wife to create those five kids. I've honestly got to commend him for making a stable income off of content like this. Minecraft, but if I hit one million subscribers, I will reveal a big secret. Wait, I already hit a million. Whoa! From now until the end of March, you too can get your limited edition one million Beast Trigger merch. Go from no bitches to riches. Wait, what the fuck? Play that back one more time? Go from no bitches to riches. The minute you start repping not included there's no guarantee you won't regret your life choices after wearing our merch in public dude the front page of your merch website has children wearing your shirts there's no way your channel isn't made for kids right you didn't just show a 17 year old twerking because you hit a million subscribers on your children's channel right no! All right, all right, all right. Saying bitch on YouTube isn't a crime, but I wouldn't expect someone like Blippi or Coco Melon to say bitch. And there's no way that this content is made for teenagers, right? Like, how do you want to take damage? Well, my parents always said it was bad to sit too close to the TV. Ow, 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 ow. Are your parents always fighting? My dad left me. There's no way this content isn't meant for kids. So I decided to take some time to look into the rise of the Beast Trigger media company that he quit his career as a musician for. And it seems like his channel wasn't always meant to be child friendly. Send this video to, well, you'll know who to send it to. Now obviously we can tell from the comment section that adults weren't the ones watching this content. In fact, it didn't really seem like much of anybody was watching his content at this point, but surprisingly that's not the case. In fact, Beast Trigger's video catalog has some of the most massive discrepancy in views I've ever seen on a YouTube channel. For example, that video we just watched had 300 views, the next one had 47k, the next one had 700, and the one after that has 2.7 million views, with the next one having 300 again. Very drastic number difference 
references that start to make a bit more sense when you realize that the video with almost 3 million views was a collaboration with the vastly more popular 17 year old YouTuber TwiShorts. During the same time TwiShorts, an at the time 100k sub YouTuber with a rapidly growing audience, started also featuring Cheeseburger in his videos, but instead of using his username just saying he's a friend, making it painfully obvious who is benefiting off of who. And hey, there's nothing wrong with collaborating with bigger YouTubers to grow. I just think it's funny that you brag about how great your YouTube channel is to smaller creators who criticize you when some random 17 year old Minecraft YouTuber you met is the only reason you can put food on the table. Also, this part of the comment gets me. We're all normal acting people off camera. Yeah, dude, this video is super normal. I did something I hope I won't regret. I'm a PNG tuber now. There is no way that Beast Churger is not obese. He named himself after a cheeseburger and then commissioned someone to draw his character super buff with the beginning of his crotch poking out of the belt. Sorry to break the immersion for you cheeseburger fans, but this is actually what he looks like. Now I would stop the bullying there, but we have yet to discuss his peak content. Content that is built off the foundation of his years working in the music industry, his Minecraft music shorts. Minecraft, but if I stop singing, the video ends. It's 2022, I know we'll see it through. Was that a zipper sound? I swear to god I didn't add that in. He unironically put a zipping down pants sound effect in the middle of his Minecraft music video for kids for absolutely no reason. I swear to god, every Bees Trigger video I've seen, he will sneak some sort of sexual reference in there. From something as small as the number 69 in his multiplying video, or having a miniature version of his 17 year old friend twerking in his Among Us video? What the fuck? There is no mountain too high with our elytras in the sky. We can fly. Child Protective Services, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Beast Trigger, what are you doing here? Oh no. Did I just stop singing? Did I just stop Rick rolling? No! Okay, Jelly Bean, let's. Whoa, am I on a cruise ship? Ow, why'd you punch me? Well, with kid? our elytras in the sky, we can fly. That's what you get, you fucking burger ass bitch! Get the fuck out of my house and go back to your five kids, you stupid cunt. Whoa. Not cooperating, eh? I guess it's mayo time then. <laughs> Get fucked, you stupid bitch! <laughs> Woo! Fuck you! Mayo time! Not included. There's no guarantee you won't regret your life choices after wearing our merch in public.